Hi everyone, Namaste. I am Vashish Doshi and I am here to talk about social distancing and its importance. I am no medical expert, hence I will keep this simple and smart and I will explain this to you uh, in layman language and I hope that at the end of this we are on the same page about social distancing. So what exactly is social distancing? Social distancing is basically deliberate physical uh, distancing, deliberate physical separation amongst people to avoid the spread and the infection and illness. It is a known manner to counter the coronavirus, counter the spread of coronavirus. This, this involves, as you may have noticed in your own life, this involves working from home, not going to school and instead attending online classes, meeting relatives and friends over video call, uh, cancelling or postponing arrangements of meetings. All of these are part of social distancing. What all of this information you already know. What you don't know is the concept behind social distancing. I'll try to bring out the concept behind it and explain to you why it is absolutely necessary. This way I hope that more compliance takes place in the population. Social distancing uh, is the basic reason for social distancing would be a medical reason to say that when one coughs or sneezes, it results in uh, liquid droplets coming out of their mouth or nose. These droplets spread in a radius of about three to six feet and they stay in the air. So when another person is in the vicinity, they inhale those droplets and this causes spread of the infection, any infection for that matter. To avoid that, social distancing is a uh, precautionary step. Other than that, Ram Nami celebrations have been cancelled, the IPL has been cancelled or postponed to say the least. And personally, even my, my own plans with friends after the examination has been cancelled. And it is definitely sad, yes. But uh, from the public health perspective, it is absolutely necessary. These cancellations help stop or slow down the spread of the virus. And uh, this allows the healthcare system to care more readily for the incoming patients. So this, this whole phenomenon is called flattening the curve. Flattening the curve, uh, so if a lot of infections take place in a shorter period of time, like in this green curve, it exceeds the healthcare system's capacity, which is this median line, dotted line. This would mean that there is shortage of beds, nurses, uh, doctors, equipment, etc. And people may not always be able to uh, attain an, uh, healthcare and our healthcare system will fall short of the demand. So instead, if the same number of people have infections over a longer period of time, like in this yellow graph, it will mean it will come under the ambit of the healthcare system's capacity. This will mean that although there will be a lot of cases, they will be incorporated over a period of few weeks, and hence uh, there will be it will be more the healthcare system will be more accommodating, and a larger number of people will be able to get facilities. And uh, that infrastructure will be able to achieve, will be able to, uh, con so it will be able to counter all the demand. There will be no shortage of beds, there will be enough doctors and nurses, etc. This is called flattening the curve and this helps, this is, and social distancing and a lockdown work towards this uh, phenomenon. Yes, uh, the lockdown is boring and you tend to want to meet your neighbors and you know, play with friends outside in your uh, say next door play cards or something like that but it is I'll tell you why it is not uh, smart to do that it's while you your body uh, may be immune to the virus but it is not absolutely necessary that you don't still carry the virus you may carry the virus although your body will be immune to it you'll spread the virus to other people in these in the 14 days uh, you still keep visiting other people 14 days of the incubation period of the virus, the virus will stay in your body for 14 days. In that period of time, it can affect a lot of other people, which I'll show by this diagram. This is one person who affects three people, meets three people and affects them. And that chain continues to form so many infections from just this one person. Now, it is important to understand that this one person causes so many infections. So what, and so that one person is responsible for a large number of infections. Instead, if you practice social distancing in the same scenario, it would mean that uh, this one person causes only these many infections because four people in between, the person who worked from home, the person who did not go to the barbecue party, the person who didn't fly, 
or the person who just stayed at home. These four people, just because four people practice social distancing, one person is affecting only uh, a very small proportion from the original proportion of people. Hence, this clearly shows there is a drastic no, uh, change in the number of uh, cases influenced by one person. So the social, so, so social distancing works in that way. Now, a mathematical and logical reason behind social distancing. It is a very simple formula. It's by Niels Becker, and uh, it represents the new effective cases because of one person. R dash is the secondary infection rate, which is to say the reprodu uh, reproduction rate of the virus. If that means if I have I have the virus and I affect I have the ability to affect ten people, so R dash will be ten in a normal case. Number of second infections caused by me. F is the percentage of population practicing social distancing. So before the lockdown, hundred percent of the population was outside. So no one practiced social distancing. That would mean zero percent. Now seventy-five percent of the population practices social distancing. So and alpha will be the fraction of uh, original interpersonal relationships, which is to say, uh, if I met ten days, ten people in one day. Before the lockdown, after the lockdown, I meet only my family, which is three to four people. So the fraction will now become alpha, which is four by ten, or uh, and R will R will give, be given by this uh, formula. Now I will explain this to you by two examples. There will be R dash, which is ten, uh, for both cases, and in the first case, twenty five percent of the population will practice social distancing. In the second case, seventy five percent of the population will practice social distancing. In, in initially zero percent practiced it, and hence we had the same number of cases. Ten, uh, if twenty five percent practices, it will be seven point nine people. If ten, uh, if seventy five percent practice social distancing, only three point seven people will be affected as compared to the original ten. This will mean that uh, we have brought down the infections from ten per infection, ten uh, people to three point seven people just because of social distancing. So that is definitely a drastic change. Six people, more than six people, uh, are safe, safer because of just a little bit of social distancing. Now you all know the ca uh, case of patient number thirty-one from South Korea. She was one uh, one patient who 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 is responsible for about sixty percent of South Korean cases, which is to say, say a staggering five thousand cases have been linked to that one lady. Uh, because she did not socially distance herself, she did not quarantine, and she kept on going doing with her routine activities. Similarly, a couple of days ago, we had a uh, religious congregation in New Delhi, and uh, th so there are chances this may happen in India too. We can only prevent this, and we can only work towards not letting this happen. So we all for all reasons point towards only one formula, which is social distancing. We socially distant ourselves. We precautionary. We take precautionary care of ourselves, washing hands, etc. All of this, uh, along with government guidelines, definitely government guidelines. Uh, they that will help pre work towards the end of this pandemic quicker. Now, also on a side note, uh, mental health, health uh, affecting mental health, uh, depression, anxiety, stress. Due to uh, the lockdown, will be covered by my colleagues at the Statesmanship Program. Please do look, have a look at their videos too. Now, the government has definitely worked a lot, and in unprecedented measures have been taken place. And they, but they recently announced that there be, there is a, there will not be an extension as of now of the lockdown. I personally believe that if the situation were to worsen, uh, it is better that. The, there is a continuous lockdown. I interpret this from this graph. It is my personal opinion. The lockdown after 21 days will still leave a chance of a rebuttal of infections, which will increase like this. But if uh, to avoid that, we will have to put another lockdown. But if we keep a five-day gap in between, this uh, infect the uh, infections will decrease about here. But then again, they have a chance to increase. To finally reduce, to not let that happen, we have another lockdown of 18 days with a five-day gap in between, extending the total cycle to approximately 10th June. That will mean that uh, so many days of lockdown, 
will end at 10th June. Instead, if we continually lock down for, for 49 days, so an extension of this current lockdown by 28 days, it will mean we are approximately free by 13th May and the virus will be in a very negligible number of people who will not be able to transmit it to others and that will be the end of the pandemic, uh, hopefully. Now, uh, now, as I come to the end of this, I would like to uh, implore upon you again that it is absolutely necessary in these conditions to be socially distant from others as it is it literally saves life sitting sitting at home literally saves life right so why not and uh, the government is doing their job we should do our job and uh, support and be responsible citizens so let's stay home and stay safe and uh, social distancing is clearly absolutely necessary so yeah and these are my references i have referred these for my presentation and other than that, all views are my own and I work with the statesmanship program and I thank Ishan sir for that, for this wonderful opportunity. I also would like to extend thanks to my friends and family, you know who you are and thank you so much, cheers, have a wonderful, interesting uh, lockdown period, thank you so much.